Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parker, again. Back again with another action figure review. Today I'm reviewing the Marvel Universe Punisher. I have his packaging. It's actually in storage. I did get this carded from my dad for Christmas, but as I just said, it's in my closet, and I do not feel like getting it now. Uh, but let's just get on to the figure since I don't have the packaging. Uh, he looks very nice. I definitely like the shading on his, on most of the white on his costume, makes him look more like he came out from a comic book. And unlike most of my other figures reviewed today, he has accessories. So we'll take a look. First off, he has this little like machine gun, submachine gun. He has two pistols, they're the same, same painting, same, so I'll just bring one out to show. They fit very snugly in his holsters. Silver on the top and black on the bottom. And you can put that back in. He has two of those. He also has a knife uh, with black and the, with black on the back and then silver painted in front. It just uh, is actually sculpting on the handle for more grip, I would assume. But onto the actual figure, we'll get onto his articulation. He can move at the shoulder, elbow, swivel wrist. Very little ab crunch, he goes back but not forward very much. Uh, hinged head so he can look up, down a little, obviously left to right. Yeah, he also does have a bit of swivel, just like, it doesn't really go, but he can still do it. He also has swivel right there. Actually, like, his his belt and his holsters kind of limit the amount of articulation you can get with this guy. But he still looks, he looks good. He also has, at the hips, swivel and a ball joint, double hinge knees, and a hinge at the wrist, at the ankles. Now, overall, this guy looks pretty good. He definitely holds his guns very well. Uh, I've been wanting Punisher for a while as uh, like a survivor of the Marvel Zombies universe. So I got pretty freaking allergies are kicking me in the teeth. He has slicked over hair, a very uh, aggressive, mean look on his face, the classic skull on his t shirt. As I said before, I really like the shading on this guy, it's, it's very nice. Anyways, that's going to wrap up my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.